Today, I'm going to talk about something that is usually overlooked by many. It's a pain to go through at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's quite easy to do. I'm going to talk about storage, and I will show you how I store and back up all my photos. Hey, what's up? My name is Paolo. I'm a photographer here in the Philippines. Before I start, I just wanted to give you a little context and background as to what I do and why I need a solid storage system. Well, I'm a professional photographer doing paid work, doing weddings, architectural interiors, and furniture. As a paid professional, I feel that it is one of my duties and uh, responsibilities to make sure that all my digital files are safe as essentially these are my life's work. As many of you, I started really small and as I built my business, I also scaled my storage system to fit my needs. Okay, so first the essentials. So I make sure to label all my cards with a unique name. I make sure that these are all unique so when I get back to them, I know which particular one I used. Second, I don't delete all the photos in the cards until I deliver all the final photos to my clients which means I have a lot of cards. And lastly, I always make sure that all my photos are in at least three different places at all times. So let's get right into it. Okay, so first step, I copy on site, which means I either tether my camera to my laptop while I'm shooting, so it automatically copies to the laptop, or I copy throughout the shoot, which means whenever I get the chance, I download the photos to my laptop. Or right after the end of the shoot, I copy everything that I shot into my laptop. Okay, when I copy to my computer, the first thing I do is create a folder with a reverse date with a year, dash month, dash day, and the name of the client and the project. Inside the folder, I create another folder with the name of the car that I used. I do this just in case anything gets lost or corrupted along the way. I know which particular card I use so I can possibly recover with a recovery software. And so I copy everything onto that folder. Step 2. When I get home after the shoot, I connect my laptop to my hard drive and run Time Machine. What Time Machine does is that it copies and mirrors everything that is on your computer. So in this particular case, because I have new content on my laptop, it looks for that new content and it copies to your hard drive. I'll put a link in the description below so you can read more about Time Machine. If you're using a PC, you can also use Carbon Copy Cloner. I'll also put a link down below. Step 3. I copy all the raw photos into a separate hard drive, which will be later stored off-site. Step 4. I also do the same copying process but this time to my desktop and my desktop also has a dedicated hard drive which I will also run Time Machine on. So after all of that, I'm ready to work on my photos. So while working on the photos, I make sure to properly label all folders. So if I'm editing a particular folder, I label that folder for edit. If I'm done editing the photos, I label the folder as final. While all of that is happening, I also run Time Machine at least once daily. So that way, even my work in progress is backed up. So last and final step, I copy all the final photos, the photos that I deliver to my clients, to a separate hard drive. That one hard drive will be stored in my office and another hard drive which contains the same final photos will be stored off-site. And that's it. That is my very simple and straightforward way of backing up all my photos. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.